Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 20th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm gonna talk about a persistent area of much warmer than normal sea surface temperatures off the US Northeast coast. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this in association with various climate change related impacts and features and also a, a loss of marine mammal life in the region that may not be associated with this, but, but it's something that may, we may need to keep an eye on. So just to start out, I'd like to note that the area off the US Northeast coast from New Jersey, stretching in through Maine and out south of Newfoundland has tended to be much warmer than normal over at least the past year. And if you're looking back, this, this region has flared into very warm states persistently since, since at least 2014 and, and probably going back a bit further. Just looking at sea surface temperature anomalies from last October, we, we find much warmer than normal sea surface temperatures in this region. And Returning to the present day, we also find very warm sea surface temperatures off the U.S. East Coast, ranging from up to six degrees Celsius above normal for a region of ocean that tends to be rather cool. I'm gonna switch to sea surface temperatures so you can see here in this region, just off the coast of Maine, is nearly, well, it's 25.1 25 degrees Celsius which is 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very warm ocean water for, for a region of ocean just off the Northeast coast. As we get closer to shore, sea surface temperatures cool a bit, but remain much warmer than average, even in the close to shore environment. Now, warmer than normal sea surfaces are a signal of human caused climate change overall. And and generally speaking, we have seen an increase in a number of what are known as marine heat waves. And these heat waves have had impacts on various marine ecosystems around the world, resulting in stress to, to fish and marine mammals and, and corals and, and a number of key marine species. I'm just going to go ahead and read this definition as provided by this paper in Nature entitled Emerging Risks from Marine Heat Waves, which was published earlier this year. And, and the definition of a marine heat wave is that a marine heat wave is usually defined as a coherent area of extreme warm sea surface temperatures that persist for days to months. And if we look at this region of, of sea surface temperatures off the Northeast, we can certainly say that there has been persistent much warmer than normal waters in this region. And there has been a recent event which may or may not be linked to this marine heat wave, but according to recent news reports, we're getting reports of, of seals having died off the U.S. coast, off the U.S. Northeast coast. And some sources are noting that this loss of seal life has been due to a chemical spill, but these reports have not been confirmed as yet. Uh, in total, we've seen um, just like a, a, a number of, well, a number of dead seals washing up on beaches over recent months during, during July and continuing into early August. Now, it's important that we don't jump to any conclusions because a number of issues can impact seals off the Northeast coast. For example, in 2011, we saw an increased number of seals lost due to a, a flu epidemic, apparently avian flu transferred to seals in the region. And there was some concern that this might've been the case 
with seals off the northeast coast during the recent event. So just something to keep an eye on. If, if, we, if we see more impacts to marine life in the region, it becomes more likely that the heat wave is, is a, a primary trigger to loss of marine species life, especially if, um, if we see continued instances over the coming days and weeks. But just to note that this issue with seals is, is, is a little bit of a warning sign, although we might have another factor involved. But regardless of the cause of, of seal loss of life, the northeast coastal region and areas off the northeast coast in the Gulf Stream are experiencing much warmer than normal sea surface temperatures, which follow a similar pattern to past marine heat waves that we have seen. So something to keep an eye on, and it's worth noting that marine heat waves do increase in prevalence as the earth warms due to human-caused climate change, and in which is in large part driven by fossil fuel burning. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.